Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Dr Nick Nickum from Houston Texas uh, this is the first episode of Life in the Golden Lanes uh, I am a cardiologist and uh, I have given presentations on retirement or the stress of retirement so I would like to introduce you to the life in the golden lanes and expand on certain topics as we continue our journey in the golden lanes the first thing i would like to say is uh, retirement from job is not the same as retirement from life you are not preparing for a retirement in life yes you are leaving your job you are the executive you or the assembly line worker whatever your job was you are leaving your job but you are entering into a full time life so that's a different uh, ball game altogether i'm going to expand upon that uh, as we journey through these golden lanes when you are working you probably worked 10 to 12 hours just like most of us now all of a sudden it is like uh, you are uh, getting off the plane in the middle of a flight which was traveling 600 miles per hour see when you were working you had a plan you know what time you had to get up you know how long you're going to be working you knew when to wind down the work you knew when to come back but uh, once you get off your job and enter retirement you need to have a plan if you don't have a plan it's like you're taking off on a flight and say where are you going i don't know how long are you going to be flying i don't know which direction are you going i have no idea why are you asking me when are you going to land i don't know if i'm going to land <laughs> see we got to have some purpose in life when we graduated we had a purpose we wanted to become famous we wanted to contribute to the community we wanted to be popular we wanted to be the guy in the party who always was liked i mean the usual stuff all this materialistic world we created around us but things are going to be different another painful experience is going to be going from a big house you know 10000 square feet to five 10 servants and there are so many guests coming in and out and you having all these parties politicians all these tuxedos and all these things and when all your birds are out of the nest they have flown over the cuckoo's nest i mean you had the cuckoo's nest cuckoo's nest but anyway they have flown over the cuckoo's nest now we are left alone home alone now you don't want that 10000 square foot space you have no idea what to do you may have a money but you don't have peace of mind so you want to downsize oh this is going to be an interesting journey when you try to downsize and i'm going to share with you some of my experience in terms of downsizing from a big house to a different uh, lifestyle well you know once you enter this golden lanes remember uh, you have kids grand kids and great great grand kids and of course uh, you can always you know offer your free babysitting services cooking cleaning dropping them to school and all these things that's another whole different topic we'll touch upon that uh, another time one good thing about dealing with grand kids is both the grand kids and you have a common enemy and that is your son or daughter you can always sit and chat for hours with the common enemy <laughs> that's a different topic let's forget it some people are obsessed with travel i said travel is not the whole retirement life yes it is fascinating you can visit all these places eat fantastic food have beautiful pictures but who is going to look at your pictures i mean your kids are busy your grandkids don't know what you're doing everything has to be focused on how we can get the best out of our lives with the resources we have and how we can maybe contribute something to the community with all the skills that we have acquired and as i said when you have 10 to 12 hours in a day left which you were kind of happy to go to work or maybe you were unhappy to go to work i mean there are some people who just dreaded their work for decades 
before they got out of the rut. <laughs> That's a different topic altogether. You have to have some kind of hobbies. But I have a lot of hobbies and one of these things is doing videos is one of my big hobbies. I have more than 1400 videos on this Triple N Media channel and all of these videos were produced by me. So I have invested a lot of time in computer, technology, lighting, camera, action, editing, all these things. But a hobby is much more than a regular job. <laughs> I don't want to scare you, but it's fascinating, but it is much more than a regular job. And I will talk about hobbies. Uh, I can sit here and talk for the next 20 years. And I don't want to touch upon this topic because this is very sensitive to most of us. If you got along with your spouse and if your spouse and you were complimenting each other in life, that's a different story. So maybe you can enjoy more time with your spouse. But if you are one who was very happy to go to work so you can get away from these shackles when you are at home and when you retire, now you got a 24, 7, 365 days of dealing with your cranky spouse. That is going to be a culture shock. Well, I don't want to sound pessimistic, but I'm trying to see how you can navigate through these hurricanes, these uh, shark waves in life if you were unfortunately put in that place. Because this is what is about sharing our life, our experience and our expertise in how we can minimize the pain, enjoy the journey, meet a few friends, Oh, talking about friends, <laughs> every year I think we lose a few friends. Over a period of six to seven years, you probably would have lost everybody except your uh, spouse, if the spouse is there, or maybe one or two friends. Beyond that, all this, this nonsense about having 3,000 people on the Facebook or 5,000 people on Twitter account and all these things, don't ever believe that. This is an illusionary world. This is what has created a whole new concept of a, 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 what I should say, a social media addiction. Every time you get up, you're eight, on eight hours, 10 hours on the social media. Oh, who liked me and who didn't like me? Okay, did they like my writings? And why is he commenting on my like this? I just forget it. Especially if it's politics, I can tell you they will spill all kinds of material which you don't even want to express it on a, on a, on a social media like this. Anyway, this is an introduction to the life in the golden lanes. What would you like to discuss? Just leave some comments and then I will do some research and bring you some useful information. My purpose is to take all the challenges that we are going to face in the Gordon Lanes and see how we can best meet those challenges and still have some nice, wonderful journey in the Gordon Lanes. I am Dr. Nick Nickham from Houston, Texas, and please do subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.